We have another breaking news from Tesla Giga Texas. As you may have known already, Tesla Giga Texas is expected to start the mass production this week in January. And Joe Techmeyer reports from Tesla Giga Berlin that it appears Tesla is now installing Longi solar panels on the west side roof of area near the main entrance of Giga Factory Texas. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news that comes to our teletype. So Joe Techmeyer, who always flies his drone and brings us the latest from Giga Factory Texas, has tweeted yesterday saying Giga Texas News 31 December 2021. It appears Tesla is installing Longi solar panels on the west side roof area near the main entrance glass area. Take a look at these images that you're seeing, friends, uh, that Joe Techmeyer has shared with us. Now, some of you may ask why Tesla, the, why not they? Their own because we know that Tesla Energy produces solar roofs, right? So here's the, the thing. I don't think Tesla actually makes solar panels aside from the roof tiles. Now, solar panels and solar roof tiles are different things. Solar roof tiles are intentionally designed to look a lot like asphalt shingles. So they look similar to the traditional roof. On the other hand, solar panels are available only in the traditional black blue colors. They are also installed on brackets on top of an existing finished roof. So it makes sense that Tesla is building, is using another company's solar panels instead of its own solar roof. Now, what's better, solar panels or solar roof? Okay, some of the places that I'm reading, they say solar panels are more energy efficient than solar shingles as you can tilt them to the direction where the sun shines the most. This mechanism enables them to catch more sunlight. On the other hand, a solar shingle depends on its location on the roof plus the roof's orientation to receive sunlight. So now you understand why Tesla is not using its own solar tires. Now, some of you may say Tesla Giga Texas is going to need some kind of drone to clean all the those panels that you're seeing in the images from Joe Techmeyer. Look all the dust on the white roof already, right? But the rain will probably do the trick unless Tesla comes up with some other ways to clean the dust from solar panels. Austin apparently gets about 35 inches of rain a year. This is very nice. I really hope they cover the entire Giga Texas in solar panels and do it in the next six months, unlike Giga Factory in Nevada, which still isn't done years later. But a Twitter user, Tony Vess, uh, comments on, on this and says there is a reason why, the, why the, for this is because Gigafactory 5, Gigafactory Texas in Austin did not get a power subsidy from Austin or Texas to build there. They got other considerations. Gigafactory 1 got a power subsidy from the state of Nevada through 2022. So this is why probably Tesla is not rushing make more investment. That is why it's slowly building out solar and it's a accelerating now it made economic sense have you guys heard anything about giga berlin's solar situation is giga berlin also going to have solar panels on top of the roof let me know your thoughts friends so i think this is very nice that tesla is doing this at giga factory texas so this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking tesla news share the news in social media and god bless you everyone happy new year and let's move on to our next tesla story we have some breaking news friends today tesla giga Texas actual production is expected to start next week, beating Giga Berlin. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla and electric vehicle news. Today, Joe Techmeyer, who regularly provides Giga Texas information and footage of drone, said a tweet, uh, wrote a tweet saying, breaking a bit of news I just heard at the site today, actual production for Giga Texas starts next week. They are driving finished cars inside the factory already and several completed cars are already at testing sites out of state getting crash and other testing completed. Uh, wonderful news, right? You know, it's amazing that Tesla Giga Texas that started uh, later than Giga Berlin is starting production, actual production earlier than Giga Berlin. Now I'm looking at some comments and people say wonder if they're running with 2170 packs or 4680 battery ready to roll. Now Elon has said repeatedly in 
the past, Austin will begin production with 4680 batteries, but I don't know if Austin is already producing 4680 batteries or the 4680 batteries produced at the uh, near the Fremont factory are being shipped to Austin and if they are enough to start uh, Giga Texas production with 4680 batteries. But this will be huge news if that comes out. Now, you know, um, it would be incredible if Texas beats Giga Berlin to production. It might get Brandenburg authorities to step up the approval of Giga Berlin. Uh, now, back to Texas, you may ask if these are test vehicles produced at Giga Texas, but Tesla has been building test vehicles at Giga factory texas already for a week now the potential for giga texas is staggering tesla had the chance to build an entirely new giga factory from the ground up and get rid of the uh, inefficiencies that were at the fremont factory california giga texas is enormous and i have no doubt says uh, jeremy johnson from talk news tesla reporting team that we'll start to see volumes reach many millions of vehicles in the coming years what is the maximum production potential for Giga Texas. Johnson says, my best guess is 5 million vehicles a year or more if Texas produces their compact model 3 and even the uh, model 2 or whatever, uh, compact model or model 2, whatever it will be called uh, at Giga Texas. I think they can even beat 5 million vehicles a year. Do you think Tesla will be able to build at some point 5 million vehicles at Giga Texas? Does the v uh, company Giga Factory has that type of of capacity. Giga Texas will also produce the Cybertruck, which will be Tesla's most advanced electric vehicle, I think. I think once we start to see the Cybertruck and everything that comes with it, like solar panels and what it can do, people are going to want it. I'm in line to get one, says uh, Jeremy Johnson, but I don't expect it for at least three more years. In fact, Jeremy says, I put together a timeline on when I think Tesla could reach 3 million Cybertruck produ production and and you can uh, reach that at, uh, you can see that timeline at talknews.com i will have the link in the description of this video friends this along with a spreadsheet that estimates your place in line for your cyber truck can give you a rough idea of when you will get your cyber truck if you were to place an order now or place an order in the past so this is very exciting that tesla giga texas actual production will start next week the first week of january beating giga berlin let me know what do you think about this friends what do you think the Giga Texas production capacity will be in the first half of 2022, second half of 2022, and in the next coming years? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. God bless you and Happy New Year. Good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year to our uh, visitors and our viewers at Torque News channel. Friends, we have some interesting and breaking news from Tesla Giga Berlin. Tobias Lind, who regularly provides uh, Giga Berlin flyovers of drone with Jurgen has a very breaking and interesting news. He has tweeted this tweet saying, I saw a Model Y performance today at Giga Berlin. I've had a look at the VIN number. It is made in Germany. Tobias tweeted this uh, about 12.32 p.m. on December 31st yesterday. So you are, I guess, looking one of the first Giga Berlin made v uh, uh, Model Ys. Uh, looks like this is the performance version. Version, I hope and uh, it's um, Tobias also has the w VIN number and uh, I don't know like it's hard to read I don't know if you can read it it's hard to read but at least there is a VIN number and Tobias confirms that this is made in Germany uh, uh, car and so um, does the existence of VIN and the license plate imply that it is a production unit rather than a test unit and does that imply that production has started this one person Person named Simon 101 asked Tobias. Tobias says, no, I am pretty sure it's just for testing. You know, in the past couple of days, we have seen several testing cars at Giga Berlin and a trailer loaded with Model Y performance versions leaving Giga Berlin in the Berlin area. And then yesterday I reported something that we saw apparently a Model Y produced at Giga Berlin in Norway at the Tesla center for winter testing. You know, Norway is cold weather and maybe Tesla is trying to have winter 
testing there because Norway is also a great market for Tesla vehicles and for electric vehicles in general. Well, this is overall good news that we're seeing already cars made at Giga Berlin coming out of the assembly line, although for purposes, but the VIN number confirms this is made in Germany. And also we're hoping that, you know, in the next couple of weeks, maybe we will have the final permit and Tesla will start the production either immediately or within 14 days after Tesla receives the final permit for Giga Berlin factory. In the meantime, you remember that yesterday I reported that uh, it is expected that Giga Factory Texas will start this week, the first week of January. If you haven't seen that, uh, you can see it on our channel. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you guys know more information from Giga Berlin or references, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this development at Giga Berlin? I think we're getting very close from uh, for Tesla to start producing its cars at Giga Berlin. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next story.